What's up guys, Zestrin here, and today I want to do a top five video, but it's going to be a little different. It's not going to be in any particular order, I'm just going to kind of list five things and talk about them. And this top five is going to be in the, my top five hopes for Nintendo NX. Number one is an achievement system of some sort. Now, I'm a big like achievement f fan, hunter, whatever you want to call it. As of the time of this recording, I have 17 platinum trophies on PlayStation. Uh, I do think it'd be cool if Nintendo did their own like take on it and did um, like call it like, coins or stars or something. You know, it, it kind of add more of a value to their games to some people. Like I don't know, some people call it like a, a dumb like resell replay value. I'm like I, I, don't, I don't think so. I know not everybody's not into achievements or trophies or whatever, but I think it'd be a really cool thing to have in you know their in the new system. Number two is a regular controller slash like no gimmicky stuff like I've always been a big fan of Nintendo like the first one I really had to play with a lot was N64 and while that controller was weird like you needed like three hands to play with it like I, I don't know they're, they're just weird with that but you know then the GameCube I love the GameCube I thought it was an excellent system and then you get to the Wii with all the motion controls and I remember I really wanted it at first and I didn't get one until way later, like, it was like, the Wii U was about to come out. And I remember, like, I got, I got pretty bored of it pretty quickly. And I remember, like, playing, like, Skyward Sword, for example, and I was like, I just want to play the game. I don't want to, you know, waggle around all over the place. And then, you know, the Wii U gamepad, as, you know, it is, I guess, sticking a regular controller. But, like, he's got this, you know, it's huge. He's got the big screen on it, and... It's not a very, like if it was just a tablet, it's not a very good tablet. You know, it's only single touch screen, you know, it's, it kind of feels cheap and made and just stuff. So if Nintendo, they just released NX, which is, a, which is basically like the Wii U Pro controller or something like that, would make it like really good, like, you know, the PS4 or the Xbox One controller, which are both excellent. I think that, you know, that can try to win over people a lot better because it'd be like, hey, this is a normal controller and I don't have to waggle around or use some weird dinner plate size controllers. So I think that would help a lot. Number three is a good online experience. And that means like games and like on the eShop or just everything that involves the internet. And I feel like, you know, I guess Nintendo is doing their Nintendo account thing, which is going to be across, you know, all of you know platforms, Wii U, NX, 3DS. Uh, the PCs, I guess, mobile and all that stuff. And I want to, you know, because like the PlayStation Network, for all its flaws, you know, it's you know it's pretty good. You know, playing online or you know going on the, the store in their browser, anything internet related, it's just you know it's really reliable. And I feel like if Nintendo did a similar thing, it would be you know really good for them. You know, you can have better online, you know, stability. Games like Smash, and Mario Kart, Splatoon, they can even be more reliable. And then just, you know, help just browse in the eShop. Because, like, the eShop on the Wii U is kind of annoying. Like, you can browse through it with just, like, a controller, but you can, it helps if you have the gamepad. Sometimes I just don't, like, you know, scroll with, you know, the touchpad and the stylus and all that. It's, you know, it's just confusing to, like, navigate through. It's like you can't just, like, I don't know. It's like I wish it was just easier to navigate. Number four is power. The system needs to be powerful. I know there's the, there's the rumors of the least industry leading chips that it's supposed to come with as soon as you compete with like Xbox One and PS4 and that'd be great. Like, I'm not one of those people who are like, oh graphics is everything, but it definitely helps when you have a powerful system. But, you know, just look at, you know, how they do their games, you know, they usually give them with like an art direction. You know, just think how good like the Mario's could look, like it could look like a Pixar movie. I mean like, just look at like the new Ratchet and Clank coming out on PS4, that looks like a Pixar movie. And it could be the same thing for, you know, the Kirby's and the, the Mario's and the, the Yoshi's, you know, the more cartoony games. But then they can, you know, do, you know, the realistic Zelda game that everyone wants. Or, you know, just keep doing, like, the artsy ones, but they can make it even look bigger. And it can have a bigger world and be more features in it. And then, at the same time of having power, it's going to attract third parties because they can put their games on the system and they don't have to downgrade it. And the same thing, that also goes in with, the, you know, the no gimmicks and controller thing. Because they don't want to be like, well, how are we going to put this on there? Because a lot of third parties with Wii U, they don't know what to do with the, the touchpad. They're like, well, 
in the second screen, they're like, well, what are we supposed to do with this? That's part of a reason. So if they have a sugar working controller and power, they can get third party. That would help both sales and you know third party support because then third parties will put you know people like Activision and Ubisoft and EA they'll put their games on Nintendo platforms and then it can sell more because it'd be more of a library in the on the console and then people want to buy it and that helps. Number five is third party support. You know this goes back into the you know power and everything too. But like Nintendo's had an issue with like burning bridges with third parties through many reasons like back in the NES days publishers had to buy the cartridges from them and they were really expensive and they were only allowed to publish like four games a year so companies like Konami they would make a like a fake publisher so they can publish some games like the original Metal Gear was not it was published by Konami technically I forget the name of the company that they made to order to publish more games so I have to look that up but um, but you know they get in the bed with more third parties and they make things attractive to third parties like we'll let you do this and that and they don't make things too complicated for them then they can gain their trust and partnership and they'll be able to both work together and to sell more games and more consoles then they can get like third party exclusives they can get times exclusive like you know how like call of duty used to be on like um xbox now it's like on playstation this this game um, I'm not saying that they're going to have it with Nintendo. I probably doubt that would. But, you know, companies like Ubisoft, like Rayman or, or Rayman Legends or Origins, whichever one it was, was supposed to be Wii U exclusive. But then the, what they did, they were like, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to delay this game and we're going to launch it with the other consoles as well so we can make money. And that was also part of uh, the, you know, the Wii U not selling very well. It's, if you know, if they can just build a relationship with these and they can get you know more... You know, if Ubisoft wants to do like a run of Rain Man, they can maybe make it a time exclusive on Nintendo. Maybe, you know, that could work. Or, you know, if Activision can do more like Skylander type things, like they did, they have the Skylander Amiibo for, for Donkey Kong and Bowser. More stuff like that. And e EA, I don't know. Some, whatever EA does, I don't know. But anyway, those are my top five hopes for Nintendo NX. So, you can tell me yours in the comments or, you know, tweeting at me on Twitter and, or you know, right on Facebook, whatever, you know, all my, any of my social media. But uh, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.